Hi guys, it's Hannah, and welcome back to A Game of Thrones and Throne. Now, today's video, as you can probably guess by the title, is all of the unread books on my shelf. Or it could also be called, I am scared to read hyped books. Um, obviously, it's not, not all of these are hyped, but you know, most of them are. Um, and I'm not going to go through a synopsis for every single one, because that would take forever. And um, there are about 126 give or take here. There may be a few that I have read, um, but for some reason were put in this pile because I wanted to reread or I'd forgotten what happened and needed a um needed a refresher. Some of them are sequels so I probably will end up doing a reread of the three of the previous ones. Um but yeah, it's gonna be a long video so I'll stop talking and get into the books which is what you're here for. So first of all I am if you've seen my September TBR. Uh, some of these books are on here, so I'm not going to talk about them again. This video will go on far too long. Um, and I'll talk about the ones that I have read from the TBR in the mid month wrap up that I'm planning. And so, yep, some of these may be some of the names you may have already seen. Um, but yeah, let's just get on with it. So, this one I am counting as an unread book because I am halfway through it. And that is The Tower of the Swallow by Andrzej, I can never say that, Andrzej Sap Sapowski. Uh, this is obviously one of the Witcher books. Then we have The Lady of the Lake by the same author. And finally, Season of Storms. So, that's them ones. Then we have The Fire Sermon by Francesca Haig. We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Fizel, The Girl King by Mimi Yu, El Elena Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman, Gilded Ones by Namina Fauna, uh, first two books in the Isles of Storm and so Sorrow series by Bex Hogan, Viper and Venom. My Life After Now by Jessica Verdi. Then Seven Devils by Elizabeth May and Laura Lamb. Which pile should I go for next? I'll go for this pile. Oops, that was just the piles falling over. Uh, then we have The Damned by Renee Adier. Fingersmith by Sarah Waters. Court of Miracles by Kester Grant, and this is so shiny. Kingdom of Souls, The Last Witch Doctor by Arena Barron. Yes. <laughs> uh, I told you this video was, called, was also called Hyped Books Scare Me. Uh, but this is Sarah J. Mass's Cre House, of uh, House of Earth and Blood Crescent City. Sanctuary by V.V. James. The Folk of the Earth. Trilogy by Holly Black in the gorgeous Illumicrate Special Edition covers. So we have The Cruel Prince, Wicked King and Queen of Nothing. On to the next pile, we have Slay by Brittany Morris. The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrienne Young. Babysitter's Coven by Katie Williams which definitely passes the fuck test. The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. John Green's Paper Ties. Two books by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. An Anonymous Girl and You Are Not Alone. Forest of Souls by Laurie M. Lee. Shielded by Kaylin Flanders, which always makes me think of The Simpsons. <laughs> then Star Daughter by Sveta Thakura. I think I said that right. Um, but yep, we've got that one and the glitter on that goes everywhere. Um, we have Raging Star by Moira Young, which is the third and final book in the Distance trilogy. Nephilim by John and Carol Barrowman. Pawn by 
Amy Carter. And if you can see, these petals are just going to go up and up and up. Um, but then we have the three, the three new trilogy tie-in editions of Chronicles of Ixia by Maria B. Schneider. Shadow Study, Dawn Study and Night Study. I think that's in the right order. I'll have to check that before I put them back. Um, we also have the Red Scro Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Shu. The Ghosts of the Shadow Market Hardback Edition of the Bind Ups by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, Kelly Link, and Robin Wasserman. And then, obviously, Chain of Gold by, Sh by Cassandra Clare. Then we have Are We All Lemmings and Snowflakes by Holly Bourne. Strange Grace by Tessa Gretton. Iron and Magic by Alonia. Alona? Andrews? The... Uh, Sword in the Stars by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. The two of two of the final trilogy are from Shatter Me and The Bind Up. So I have Defy Me and Imagine Me and The Bind Up Find Me uh, or by Tahira Murphy. The Familiars by Stacey Halls. Tidelands by Philippa Gregory. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hosini. Two books in the Crown series by Kira Cass. The Crown and Happily Ever After, which is the bind up of the short stories. The final three books of Throne of Glass, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn and Kingdom of Ash. Then we have a Goddess Summoning novel by PC Past, Goddess of Legends. The Delirium Trilogy. Now, I know for a fact I have read this first one, but I must have put it in this pile for a reason, so I'm going to go with it. <laughs> Delirium, Requiem, Pandemonium, and the Bind Up of the Three Short Stories, Hannah, Annabelle, and Raven, all by Lauren Oliver. Two books by Michael Grant in the Messenger of Fear series, Messenger of Fear and The Tattooed Heart. The two books in Tommy Adiemi's Children of Blood and Bone series. Is that what it's called? Anyway, uh, we have Children of Blood and Bone and the Children of Virtue and Vengeance. And nice addition there. And we have two books in the Miss Peregrine to Find Peculiar Children. We have Library of Souls and A Map of Days, both by Ransom Riggs. The Dread Nation books by Justina Ireland, Dread Nation and Deathless Divide, and I'm slowly getting crushed by books. <laughs> then we have the two uh, two books in A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kamarath, A Curse So Dark and Lonely, and A Heart So Fierce and Broken. We have some Lord of the Rings books. So we have book one, Fellowship of the Ring, book two, Two Towers, and book three, The Return of the King. Ten Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. Room by Emma Donoghue. Son of a Witch by Gregory Maguire, which is a sequel to Wicked. The first two books in the Night Watch trilogy by Sergei Lukievenko. Uh, the Night Watch and The Day Watch. Philippa Gregory's The Chain uh, Order of Darkness bind up with of the three books, which includes. Changeling, Stormbringers, and Fool's Gold. 
and the discovery of witches by deborah harkness the never night trilogy by j christoph never night god's grave and dark dawn the priory of the orange tree by samantha shannon this stack here which is the first three books in the Summoner series by Taryn Matharu, The Novice, The Inquisition and The Battle Mage. We have We Are Blood and Thunder by Kezia Lupo, or Lupo, um, The Orphanage of the Gods by Helena Coggan. Two books in Pierce Brown's Red Rising series, Iron Gold and Dark du Dark Age. George R. R. Martin's The Night of the Seven Kingdoms. Chocolat by Joanne Harris. The Midnight Queen trilogy by Sylvia Hunter. Midnight Queen, Lady of Magic and Season of Spells. And this looks like they've changed covers. And then we have my V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab collection. Uh, we have, if I can pick them up, uh, Near Witch and then the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy. Uh, Darker Shade of Magic, Gathering of Shadows and The Conjuring of Light. The Modern Fairy Tales bind up by Holly Black, which includes Tithe, Valiant and Ironside. Oh. The Luminaries by Elna Catton. The five dark, three dark crimes series by Kendara Blake. Three dark crowns, one dark throne, two dark reigns, five dark fates, and Queens of Fennyburn, which is the bind up of the novellas. Uh, we are getting to the end. <laughs> Um, we have the two books in the Last Namsara companion series by Kristen Cicerelli, uh, Last Namsara and The Caged Queen. Then we have some of the Rivers of London books by Ben Aranovich, Aranovich uh, Rivers of London, Moon Over Soho, Whispers Underground, Broken Homes, Fox Blow of Summer, and lies sleeping so yeah that's all of them and now i have to put it all back yay um but yeah if there's if you've made it this far brilliant leave me a comment uh with an emoji um doesn't matter which emoji it is um and yeah let me know in the comments below which books you've read which ones you think i should read quickly um sooner rather than later which ones um you didn't find enjoyable and let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and to see me getting crushed by more books. Yay, I'll see you next time. Bye!